What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be organizing a paragraph. This is going to be a complex paragraph, which is something that's a little bit new to them. So there's going to be an element of struggle within this. Hopefully it's not too much, but we're going to organize the paragraph. And then once they've organized it and highlighted it and got it all sorted out, they're going to fill out a graphic organizer and outline their own paragraph using the same subject matter. This is the text training component of Language Live. And there's also a second component, which is the word training component. And word training is where they work on an individualized, differentiated instruction. So every kid, when they get on that computer to do word training, they're doing something different. Um, nobody's doing the same thing. So it's, it's, it's completely um, tailored to their needs. So we do the text training component and we do the word training component every day. Y'all come on in. Come in, sit down. Um, hey, baby. Hey. Um, Y'all come in, sit down, find your name, get your bracelet on. You want to put your bracelet on today because you are representing. Okay, so yesterday um, we started our unit about the power of education. Malcolm X and uh, the College Behind Bars, that debate unit that's coming up that I'm really excited about. Um, this right here is the quote that we read yesterday. Could somebody read me that quote? Go ahead, Twin. Education is the passport to the future for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today, Malcolm X. Very good. And where was Malcolm X when we read this story? He was in prison. He was in prison. And what did he do in prison? Taught himself how to read and write. And what tool did he use? A dictionary. A dictionary? A tablet? Which is what? Right it's not an iPad. Uh, it's like a, uh, a book, a notebook. It's like a notebook, right? And a pencil. So for the next five minutes, you guys are going to channel Malcolm X. You are going to open up your dictionaries. You are going to look at the word at the top of your paper. And you are going to copy every single bit of that definition. Well, that's why I use the Bible. Like I mean, not a Bible. The Bible. Yeah. It's cool. yeah, when I had that, when I got in trouble, that was like my fifth grade year. Mm, we're close, right? So look, is it? I got friends shoot. Yep. So you've got to do here. All yeah. of that has to do with it, right? So start with just What's start with friend. On? You barely could do this? Oh, come on, Javoris. You can do better than that. I'm not writing the whole page, though. I know. Imagine yeah. writing the whole page. Yeah, I only write like, three words and just give up. I ain't gonna lie. It's three words and don't open it. But imagine, too. Yeah. But think about this. Imagine not knowing what that means. I Any of it. Just me. <laughs> okay, well, that helps me a lot. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Twin. <laughs> All right, 13, 12, you should be wrapping up your last line. Raise your hand if you got more than 17. Oh, how many did you have, Jemiah? 19. So in that time period, Jemiah pretty much filled up your paper, right? She wrote 19 lines. That was her definition. It was just longer. Um, and she also probably wrote a lot faster and wasn't talking. Um, so, Jemiah, what house are you in, River? Okay, I'm going to give you five points. Okay, so River has five points. Um, I'm also going to give you a Bearcat buck and a piece of candy out the door. Okay, good job. Can we organize a paragraph? Yeah. Yes, we know. What's this new word? Complex, right? What does complex mean? Does anybody know? Raise your hand. Uh, Sam's, I haven't heard from you. What's complex mean? Complete. Complete. Okay, that's very, very close. You're using those context clues. Okay, what else? Charles, what do you think complex means? Hard. hard. We're going a little bit harder this semester, right? Yeah. So instead of a little baby paragraph, we have a little bit more complex paragraph. We've done this part before. We know that these are our handy dandy what? Uh, Strips, yeah. right? And what is in these strips? Sentences, Sentences which make a paragraph. paragraph. You are going to work with your group for 10 minutes. What do you think you're going to do? Put them in, Put them in order. Okay. 
After 10 minutes, we will start. We'll check it and see who's on the right track. Education also provides students with a way to experience new opportunities. We got to, hold on, this, yeah, that's another fact. It got something to do with opportunities. High school drop oh, yeah. like Education a provides a way for students to experience different cultures, different subjects, and all that. Rec 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 I don't know how to say that. <laughs> good. Which one? Recognition? Yeah. Recognition. Let me see. Recognition. That means being recognized for something like getting awards, scholarships, right? We're going to keep this right here. High school dropouts are. Things of education are important because they provide you with a chance to have a stable income with a career that you enjoy. Six minutes. Wrong. That's not nice. That's not nice. Wrong. Uh, or do all of them wrong watch? Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I want you to think about it. No, no, no. I want you to think about it. We've got, it prepares you for a career. So what's going to be the first thing your paragraph's about? College. College and career. Exactly. So you Then the also second thing is going to be what? Ended up in jail. In jail. Yeah. Then the third thing oh, is going to be what? Total. All right. Let's see how you guys did. Then what's the next thing? No, what's the next thing? In a jail. jail. Then what's the next thing? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find things that have to do with what? College. College and career. It's all categories. That's all a paragraph is. It's organized categories. What's that word right there? Career. Mm. Y'all are getting it. Yes. 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 Mm, think about what's next. So we've got college and career, right? And then we have incarcerated. So what's going to be next? The ones that have to do with not pr prison. Prison. So I think this education can be prevent Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So then, what's another one that has to do with that? Okay. Okay. So could there be more than three? Yeah. Haven't we talked about that? There could be four. There could be five. There could be. We're complex, remember? Time is up. All right. Now we have to check to make sure that we have these in the right order. Okay. So you listen as I read and you check them off or you move them around if you need to. Education is the passport to the future because it prepares you for a college or career, keeps people from ending up in jail, and helps you experience new opportunities. Shit. Receiving an education is important because it can give you opportunities for your future. When I say go, you're going to glue as fast as you can. Ready? On your mark, get set, go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, twin. Oh yeah, he used to play line. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, Pick your oh, side. Yeah, pick the right. Oh, 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 o
What is that called that you build a house on? Foundation. Very good, Alan. So our foundation is our new topic. So what's y'all's foundation? Jail. Jail. What's y'all's foundation? College and careers. What's y'all's foundation? Opportunities. So what are some types of new opportunities that education can give you? Some of them are listed there, right? Okay, but that would be with careers, right? So we want to think more what we had in that paragraph. So like scholarships, right? Field trips, experiences, social, uh, you know, people who travel, um, foreign exchange students, right? Those are all things that education offers you. That's a new opportunity. Okay, so, oh, this looks good, okay. So we've got college and careers help you be successful in life. Beautiful. College helps you gain knowledge. Okay, very good. College and careers help you go through new opportunities. Okay. What, what would be a new opportunity that a career could give you? You get a job opportunity. Okay. So, okay, well, where would a diploma go? That would go college. So this would be more diploma. This would be more job, right? Okay, and then here, this is, oh, I like that. That's good. Okay, and then here they said, you said that this college and careers can help you meet new people, right? So you would give examples of, like, your coworkers, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. Crime rates. What you said first when drop out Dropout rate? rates, crime rates. Drop out. Okay, so what you guys are going to look up is you're going to look up the difference. Um, you're going to say, like, okay, how many people who are in jail don't have a high school diploma? How many people in jail did not graduate from college? You know, things like that. You're going to get statistics, right? You're going to get evidence of these things that have to do with it. It's going to be the third one. You find it. That's it, did jump out? Dick has a gash on his face, on his chin. Do you have cash for us to use when we chop? The teacher said, I'm a good student. If you're talking about yourself, what does it always fish. have to be? I is always what? Mm -hmm. Got it. There you go. Do you want to um, put the dictionaries? Uh, actually, why don't you put these out in the hall? These go in the hall. All right. Make smart choices. Make smart choices. Tomorrow. There were some things that I thought went really well. Um, I love the engagement. I felt like they were engaged. Um, I felt like the participation was there. And I think that them moving the sentences to put them in order was a huge benefit because there's no way we would have had that level of engagement with them writing it. It just, it wouldn't have happened. So I think that those were some really strong components. And then some things that I need to work on is the rigor. I felt like I made it a little bit too rigorous for them. I know that, that we have to scaffold. But I think that with the scaffolding, I kind of overestimated their abilities. So next time I know better what to do and what level they're on. It was just a little too complex for them at this point in the year. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as me and my kids did because um, this is what we do every day and we love it. And I hope that you love it too.